welcome. Hold on, I'm gonna turn my light down a little bit here. Okay, so, hello, hi, uh, I'm back. Um, okay, so today my gardener is here and they're doing work in the yard. <laughs> and so my, my garage is completely closed, meaning my lighting is a little different today. So you're gonna have to bear with me. Um, I was trying to adjust the lights because when I only have my lights on, I'm totally blown out. Um, but anyways, I think I just might need a couple extra seconds to put that together. Anyways, welcome back. Welcome back to our live demos today. Um, today and, and the re for this entire week, we've been focusing on creative ways to explore math. So I'm, on Tuesday, um, I did a demo of a math uh, like it's it's like it's a puzzle. It's called a vanishing area puzzle. That was a lot of fun. So if you missed that, I would highly re recommend that you go and check out that video. Um, and if you're on my email list, I sent out an email yesterday with another math art idea, and I will be sending out another one tomorrow. So I thought it would be fun this week, like I said, to explore different ways of uh, learning math, and in particular geometry. And it's kind of apropos because my daughter who's in fifth grade is learning all about um, solids right now and calculating uh, volume and my son is learning all of his basic shapes and about vertices, um, perimeters, all kinds of things. So I'm like something's in the air maybe that I'm feeling like we should do more math. Um, <laughs> but it's you know it's got I have to admit it's probably the only time I really I don't mind helping my kids on homework but sometimes I don't always with the new common course standards i'm not entirely sure how they're presenting um how, the way they're supposed to do a math problem but geometry i always feel golden geometry never changes and i feel like oh when when my kids ask me for help with geometry i'm like yes we can do this and i don't worry uh, about the way i learned it and the way they're learning it and if there's any differences um okay so today we're going to be making what i call infinity tiles okay so for this project i will post it in the description below i have a template for this um again it's pretty blown out here let me turn my light out maybe you can see it that's better um i have a template for this so basically the idea of this project is that we're going to be creating these little tiles that no matter how you rotate them they always match up okay hence the term infinity tiles the design never ends it ends at the edges but theoretically if you had a table full of these the design would never ever end um so we're gonna go ahead and make this today so the template is a great thing to have i also do i do have a blank template and if you don't have access to a printer you could go on and at least just visually understand what's going on um, because the blank template's not that hard to make. It's just nine squares with some um, division lines, some tick marks. Uh, but it is help helpful to understand kind of the original design and how it works so that when you, if you create your own infinity tiles, you will uh, do it properly and so that you will have a continually connecting design. All right, so you'll need the template. You're gonna need two markers, at least two colors, probably two contrasting colors, some scissors, and if you want to laminate these to cardboard, which does, it does help them stay a little more durable, um, you're going to want to grab a glue stick and just a scrap piece of cardboard that you can cut. Now I'm going to turn my lights on, turn my camera around, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay. Let me turn the lights on. All right, my friends, ha, ha, ha. Always when I have like um, a little bit of, you know, craziness like today with our, the schedule with my, uh, the gardener outside, I get a little, first it takes me a minute to, to catch up here. Um, let me show you how these work though, before we fully get started. Let me turn my light up a little bit. There we go, get some, a little bit more brightness there. Not only is my garden here, but they're like jackhammering across the way from where I live. It's nonstop noise, nonstop. Okay, so this is just, these are tiles that I made using 
the original pattern template. But here's what we're gonna notice. No matter how I rotate these, the design is always going to match up. In fact, I could get a full diagonal line here, I believe, if I wanted, yep. So this, this is, and the way I've designed it is that on this, this template, every middle point connects up to another um, tick, tick mark on the middle. So that when you put these together, your design will always connect. Okay. Now there's a lot of geometry involved in this. Uh, hence why I call this a math art game. Um, let's talk a little bit about the math right now. So see that it's always gonna, it's always gonna match no matter what. Okay. I shouldn't say match, gonna connect. I'm always gonna have these connecting up. Okay, let me, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the template and we'll talk about some of the geometry. Well, why don't we talk about it while we work? I think that's a good idea. Um, okay, so if you have the template, get it out now. Um, and if you don't, like I said, I will be putting a link to that in the description below very soon. So the first thing we're gonna do with our template is we are going to color it. And so I have a pattern guide here which shows you basically we're going to use two colors. So the area in black is going to be one color. The area in gray is going to be another color. And it's good if you get the contrasting colors because it just makes the visual design really pop. So I'm going to start with the darker color here in these, in these areas. And I think if you're ready, go ahead and get started. I'm going to fill these in with marker. Um, you can use whatever medium you want to use. Uh, just make sure that it, if you're using a paint, you are going to definitely want to laminate this because your paper will get a little bit, um, it will just end up being a little bit wavy and, and rippled. So you're going to want to make sure that you laminate it so that when you rotate it, you really get the visual effect. Marker's pretty good. If I use marker, it's not going to make any edges curl up or anything like that. So while I color this, let's talk about some geometrical concepts. First of all, our tiles are laid out in meaning up and down and the right angle to that and it's going across, okay? So these are orthogonal lines. These are diagonal lines. So this is a slanting line, okay? That's a different kind of line. Also, I I noticed while well, I was coloring that in, um, but I'll show it to you here since I colored it, it's harder to see. We have a lot of parallel lines in this, right? Parallel lines are lines that move along the same path, same, dire or same direction, same orientation, okay? Um, what other concepts? We've got a lot of right angles in this. So these are right angles to each other meaning the lines connect up and they form a like a side the two straight lines that form an intersection there um we also have right angles here even though this is a, a shape that's a, on a diagonal these are still right angles to each other okay we've got a number of shapes in here got squares We've got some circles. We've got arcs. That's not a shape, but that's a type of line that's curved. So I'm just kind of quickly breezing through these, but depending on how you want to, you know, if you were um, talking about this with your kids, they could really start visualizing some of these types of lines, shapes, and, and geometric concepts. Um, another concept is when we have our tiles at the very end when they're finished what we are doing is we are rotating them uh, and that means to switch the orientation of it okay around a point or axes in this case we're always rotating our, our um, tiles around the center point okay um, so that's some of the math concepts involved. I also wanted to touch on a little bit of the art involved in this. So 
while you guys aren't designing this necessarily, although if you do the blank template, you will be, um, I wanted to point out a type of art, um, Islamic art in particular. So my father is from Spain and he is from a part of the southern Spain called Cordoba. Uh, Cordoba was ruled by the Moors uh, for centuries. The Moors, that, that was, um, they were Islamic, they were Muslim. And so there's a lot of art and design in that part of Spain that is created by and during that time. And so there's a lot of this beautiful tile work. So I know a lot of us kind of think of tiles as, and by the way, when you finish the first color, go ahead and go on to the second one. So a lot of us think of tiles as like something for your floor, uh, for your bathroom or your kitchen, but there's a lot of beautiful decorative and artful tile work that was created by different cultures around the world. And in particular, Muslim um, and Islamic art contains a lot of this beautiful geometric design work, okay? So it's something that if you really like patterns, you guys, and, and um, geometric, in particular geometric patterns, repeating patterns, I highly recommend that you check out some examples of Islamic art and tile work because it's incredible. What they have, what they did with, um, with the rotation of, and the designs and the repeating patterns, it's beautiful. So when I first created this project, I originally thought a lot about that and thought about my own heritage um, and, and my dad and that, you know, so it was, it was nice. <laughs> Um, I always like to look at the artful parts of each creative thing we do and bring it back to some art history, um, some world history and things like that. Okay, so now I'm going ahead and I'm just coloring this in. And when we're done, we're gonna cut these out and rotate them. Now, another thing when I first designed this uh, project, um, my kids, I challenged them to see if they could rotate any of the tiles so that the design would not continue. So that there'd be a, a break. Now the break can't be on the ends. Of course the, the design is gonna end at the, at the edges, but I wanted to know if they could stump me, if I'd messed up my design somewhere where it could be, um, basically where there'd be a mistake. And if you design this right and connect all these center lines, the design won't, won't break. It will always be continuous. So it's kind of a fun idea to think about designing something that could never be um, put in the wrong position, right? <laughs> right, pun intended. All right, so when we're done, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna cut this out And if you are uh, laminating this, I would cut out the main section here like so. And then we're gonna basically glue it down to a piece of cardboard. I'm gonna go ahead and, and laminate mine today. And you know what I might do? Um, well, I might laminate this one because I feel like with my dark, the dark lighting I have in here and my orange background, might be a little hard to see. So I'm gonna uh, laminate one that I designed a little earlier or I colored a little earlier. So basically I'm gonna take my template, I'm gonna cover the back with the glue stick, with glue. And then I'm gonna press it down to a piece of cardboard and I'm gonna cut it out. Okay, so Kids, if you are doing this, you might want to have your parents do the cutting. Um, cardboard is not the easiest material in the world to cut. You need pretty sharp scissors to cut it. Um, and so even in our classes, I usually have, you know, we do some assistance with the, with cutting cardboard. Um, interestingly enough, if you have surgical scissors, they're really good at cutting cardboard. Um, but I left all mine at our class, so I don't have any handy. Ooh, that's not easy to cut. 
<laughs> and I got thick cardboard too. Okay, um, so yeah, so when you're done with that, then you're gonna cut out the individual tiles. And then we'll show you how to do the, how to play the kind of trick or game or puzzle. This project also brings to mind mazes. Um, this could be a fun way to design your own maze. Okay, guys, I'm going to bust out a, a something that you probably don't have, but I do have handy. Uh, this is a cardboard cutter. And let's just do this. It'll be a little faster. Uh, okay, I'm almost done. And it's nice and the lines are nice. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> That's partly why I don't mind that I, my scissors are at school. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and, and look at this again. No matter how I lay these out, any tiles that connect are going to be continuous. There's gonna, the design will be continuous, so they'll always end in something, right? So even if I added more tiles on here, the design would still continue. And that's the point of this, is to matter how you rotate it. You know, let me just show you with the, the, the original square. No matter how you rotate it, essentially you're gonna have a connected design. Okay, so let's try to stump ourselves. No, that one's not definitely not gonna be a problem. Nope. They all, they all end up connecting. It's kind of fun, almost reminds me too of roads, like if you were laying out, doing a plan of, of different uh, roads and paths. Yep, not gonna, I'm not gonna stump, I'm not gonna be stumped. <laughs> it all matches up. All right, you guys, that is today's project. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera around. Um, turn the lights off. I know it's a little dark, but um, otherwise I'm going to be blown out. All right, you guys, that's it for today's project. So I will be putting a link to the template below, and I'll also be putting a link to my email list. So tomorrow I'm sending out another um, math art project. So if this is something that you have enjoyed, I hope that you'll uh, join our email list so that you can get that. Um, and that's it. I will be back next week with some new pro well with some additional project i don't know i'm trying to get some new content up for you guys but it's just been really busy so <laughs> we shall see in any case i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and wonderful rest of your week and i will see you next tuesday bye guys